Hello friend, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video we can see how to install Zoomla on Ubuntu 20.04 or 18.04. Zoomla is a free and open source CMS which is built on PHP and it stores the data on MySQL database on the backend. So if you are going to create a website, one of the easiest way to run a website is using a CMS which usually comes with the bundled PHP code and all the themes and plugins that you need. So in this video we can see how to install Zoomla on Ubuntu 20.04 or 18.04. In this video I am going to use uh, Ubuntu 18.04 mission. You can use the same procedure for 20.04. For installing Zoomla you need to have the LAMP stack installed in your system. So we can first see the installation of LAMP stack. For installing it, first we can install the software properties common package and give enter. Now this package is installed. Next we can add this repository to install the PHP and Apache. So we are going to install PHP 7.4 in this mission. By default the 18.04 will have the repository for 7.2 PHP version. So we need to add these we need to add this repository to install PHP 7.4. Now give enter to add this repository. Now the repository is added. Next we can run this apt get update command. So we can install the Apache and PHP 7.4 now using this below command. And give enter. And give us to download and install the packages. Now the packages are getting installed. This will take some time. Now the Apache and PHP 7.4 and its modules are installed. Now we can start the Apache web service. Next we can enable this Apache service now. Now the Apache web service is enabled. Next we can see the installation of MariaDB server. So we can install it using the apt install command, apt install mariadb server, give us to download and install the packages. Now the mariadb installation is completed. The mariadb is not secured by default. We can secure the mariadb using this mysql secure installation. So give enter now. Now the current password is none so give enter. Now we need to set the password for the mysql. So give the new password for it. Now the MariaDB setup is completed. Next we can login into MySQL to create the Zoomla DB and the database users. So I logged in into the MariaDB server now. I'm going to create a database called Zoomla DB. Next we can create the database user using the create user command. Now the user is created. Now we can grant privileges for this database user for the particular database. I have given this grant command. Now flush privileges and exit. Next we can download the zoom log package using the wget command. Now the package is downloaded. Next we can create the Zoomla directory inside www.html. So we can use the mkdr command to create it. Next we can next we can extract the zip package to the newly created directory. Now it is extracted. Next we need to set the ownership and permission for the Zoomla directory. So we can use the change own command and next we can use the change mode command to set the permission for the directories. Now we can create the virtualhost configuration for this Zoomla. So we can create the configuration file inside etc apache2 sites available directory. So new file is created. Next you need to add this following virtualhost configuration to the file. Now the virtualhost configuration is added. Now save this file and exit. Now we need to enable the virtualhost configuration. We can use the a2e inside command. We can restart the Apache web service. 
now the configuration is completed now we need to open the web browser and you can enter the server IP address slash Zoomla now we can see the installation page now now you can give the site name you can select your language and give the email address here and provide the username for the account or the password for this user now you can choose the site offline option and give next now we need to enter the MySQL username password here so you can copy it and paste it here the user is Zoomla underscore user and the password now we need to enter the database name so it is Zoomla underscore db last the table prefix now we can give, now we can give next the final step you can see the overview of the installation you can see the pre-installation check or all ok and the recommended settings are given so now we can give install now you can see the Zoomla installation is completed now you can see the administration login details so here you can see the message you need to remove the installation folder so you can give the remove installation folder here and now select the administration option now we can give the username and password here and click login now we can see the Zoomla CMS home page here now we can see the control panel of the Zoomla and, and here you can see the options that are needed for creating the websites so in this way you can install the Zoomla CMS on Ubuntu 18.04 or 20.04 thanks for watching this video post your comments and suggestions please share and subscribe to my channel press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos you can follow me on this instagram id and facebook page for any queries you can reach me on this skype id